case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in the quiet woodlawn estate subdivision in kentucky a battle was waged over the sanctity of neighborhood character and property values in 2018 Keith Gadd, a property owner, found himself the defendant in a suit testing the resolve of this community's restrictive covenants and the elasticity of property use interpretation. Gadd had positioned two of his lots in the residential subdivision as short-term vacation hub, a direct contravention of the deed of restrictions. Such usage was deemed not simply a violation, but a commercial exploitation of the residential properties. The community, led by plaintiff Don Hensley, rebuffed this creative endeavor and pursued legal action to uphold the restrictions that characterized their neighborhood. In the initial trial, Gad's maneuver was indeed found to be in violation of the established restrictions, condemning his venture from a legal standpoint. However, in an unexpected twist, the Court of Appeals later overturned this verdict, signaling a possible win for Gad. Eager to challenge this reversal, both parties pushed for discretionary review. Pivoting the legal narrative back towards the plaintiff's side, the majority of the reviewing court opined in favor of Hensley. Justice Van Meter delivered the majority opinion, emphasizing the solidity of restrictive covenants on real property and refuting the Court of Appeals' endorsement of Gad's business idea. The court concluded that the trial court's original judgment was sound, reversing the Court of Appeals' decision and cementing Hensley's victory. The court ruled Gad's commercial use of his residential lots as a clear transgression of the restrictions, clarifying that such an infringement was not protected by the First Amendment. Simultaneously, Gad's claim of harassment was dismissed by the court. The majority decision breathed new life into the neighborhood's deed of restrictions, echoing its sentiments on preserving community character and property values. This contentious case concluded with a reminder that disruptive commercial enterprises won't be allowed to compromise the residential sanctity of communities as it was remanded for injunctive relief under CR 65.02. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.